Yo, this is JD Zero bringing you a gym leader battle against Jake, aka Special Ghost Gym Leader. We're gonna against the Ghost Gym Leader here today. I'm gonna go ahead and set up the rules myself. But yeah, um, basically his rules were to uh, no legendaries or ubers. Um, you can't choose no more than two super effective Pokemon. Uh, you can't have a super effective Pokemon that has a Mega Evolution. And that's pretty much it when it comes to the rules. You know, simple rules is that. So we're going to go ahead and set the rules to a normal set rules. And get that all confirmed and whatnot. We're going to go ahead and choose our Pokemon team that we're going to be using for the uh, gym battle. We are going to use our Togekiss. Uh... Wait, is it our target kiss? Can't even remember. Hold the phone. Okay, so we got our rare target kiss. Stones are. Uh... I keep forgetting some of these names for certain Pokemon, but we pretty much got this team here. Um, now depending on the ghost team that he has set up for us. It's going to be really interesting. Uh, let's see. I need the battle theme that I want to use. Uh, uh, I'm going to use the, uh, the league title defense song. So that's going to be decently better to use. Uh, He's saying level 50. Yes. Uh, so, what he has here is an ancient slash, slash chandelier, Gengar, uh, Jellicent, and Frost Slash. Uh, ooh, this is going to be interesting. Hmm. What should I use? Who should I lead off with? I was thinking of leading off with uh, Moltres being the uh, Tala Flame. Because I kind of want to set up a thing where it's like I could get the Will O Wisp off. Is it? Uh, damn it, I forgot to add one. Sorry, but that's only five that I brought. Okay. So, since he only brought in five Pokemon, we're going to do the exact same thing. I'm trying to figure out what I want to take out now. Since he's only bringing in five. Uh, I kind of want to get rid of Rock. Lee. I'm, there. I'm just not going to add it in Rock Lee. We're just going to have 5 on 5. And instead of the 6 on 6, we're going to just have 5 on 5. Uh, basically, so it's going to be a 5 on 5 instead of a 6 on 6 type of match. So it's good that he let me know before I choose my Pokemon into the situation. Uh, he choose Jellicent. Mm. Now, here's the thing about Jellicent. I could go ahead and set up a will -Wisp for Jellicent. Or, I'll switch out into someone else. Uh, I'll forfeit, then do it again. I forgot to enter. Uh, just have a five. Just, just have a five on five.
Uh, just trying to let him know just to have a 5 on 5. It's not really that outrageous right now. Just have a 5 on 5. I'm just gonna switch out. Uh, he, he's still forfeit. So, I mean, he already clicked it. So, I guess we're just gonna have to have it set up to 6 on 6 then. No, no save. Yes, please. Thank you. Set up the rules again. Do, do, do. But in a way, I kind of know where he's leading off with when it comes down to it. I'll still pick the same, you know, the same team. So, uh, we're going to do the same thing again. We're going to go ahead and put in our same leads. Uh, so... <clears throat> Okay, so I don't know what I could do against this jealous. I mean, is either I switch into a normal type depending on if it's gonna use anything that's gonna be water, because I'm pretty sure jealous mostly carries water in the first place. I kind of want to just go ahead and switch it out, but. If I could get a willow, I could get a willow, and then whatever happens from there happens. But I feel like I want to conserve it because of his other potential Pokemon that he has in the back. So I want to go ahead and send out Low Bunny just because of that. If he uses any water or ghost type move. Little bunny could just be that protecting switch in. He goes for a water spout. Okay, so that was generally a good play on my part when I was like, yo, if anything, that's what I kind of want to do was predict that switching. So we're going to go ahead, make evolve our little bunny and go for the fake out because we are able to hit it with a fake out because of our scrappy ability so we get the get flinch off so we know it has the leftovers uh, all I could do is pretty much go for a high jump kick high jump kick does he void the high jump kick I do have my low bunny die so that sucks he goes for the willow, so at least we know it. It's you know it has willow. I mean, again, there's nothing for me to do against this particular Pokemon. Ooh, maybe there might be, there might be, there might be something. Since we're not really carrying a physical Pokemon here, I'm gonna try to go for. The will -O -Wisp. not for the will -O -Wisp, but for the hypnosis to get the potential sweep. Woo. Nice. So I do got the sleep off. He does get his health back by his uh, leftover. That's fine. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead, go for the uh, the hacks, and see how much that damage does since it's sleeping and if I think how hacks he's gonna switch out okay so he's gonna see the fact that I'm going to have the hacks anyway hacks does a pretty good amount of damage 
Uh, I'm just gonna go for the hex again. This this really, I pretty much outspeed and I pretty much did a good chunk anyway. So that's pretty much just setting you up for a death father for that. So Gengar pretty much took out his first Pokemon and that is the Chandelier. So that's good. That's freaking amazing. Amazing. Oh my Lenta. The one Pokemon that I despise the most. I am going to uh, try to see if I can get a Willow off of it. I mean not a Willow but a Hypnosis off. I do get the secondary Hypnosis. Oh my lord. Gengar pulling through. My Joker is pulling freaking through when it comes to this. So, uh, now all we could do is try to get another Willow off onto the Aegis Slash because it is asleep. It should do a pretty double good amount of damage. It should be for a two hit sweep. It's not even a two hit sweep, it just won. It just won. All it needed was just the one. Lit. That's that's freaking lit. Gengar is on a sweeping mode. We're 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 just sweeping through his team with the Gengar, and this man is supposed to be a ghost gym leader, and we're sweeping him with his own type of combination with the ghost. Woo. Uh, you know what? I'm not even gonna use hypnosis. Just getting two hypnosis off. Seems like it's pretty too fucking lucky right now. Too freaking lucky right now. I am not gonna risk another freaking... Oh my god. No, he did not. Okay, hold up. Let me try to see if I can get a hypnosis off. It does not. It does not. Okay. Good. Good. That was a perfectly good waste of the hypnosis because now I could just go for another hex and kill off his uh his first his first slash because I was just like if I miss I miss it's whatever if he gets a taunt then that's that's fine by me. He decides to switch out into his Trevenant. Ooh, Trevenant, the shiny Trevenant. Oh my gosh. What are you trying to do? It's super effective. He does get the Citrus Berry. I'm pretty sure it's one of the Citrus Berry uh, Harvest set. I kind of generally want run that type of Pokemon as well. But I should be able to outspeed anyway from Gengar to at least get another uh, hit off of it. And that's a 2 hit KO. So that's fine by me. My Gengar, is, my Joker is just sweeping his team. Oh my god. Golly gee. Hello Gengar to Gengar. Uh, now, here's a thing about this. Mm, mm, mm. That's a Gengar versus Gengar. Oh my. Who, who else beats? I can't go for any you know sleep or anything like that it is the manga gengar so he is gonna be able to outspeed me that generally sucks but it is what it is when it's gonna happen he does get it get it off he does go for the one shadow ball to try to sweep me out but since i had the focus slash i was able to save my gengar to sweep out his old Gengar. And the taunt is no longer needed, bro. Taunt is no longer fucking needed, bro. So now he chooses out his Frost Slash again. Frost Slash, Frost Slash can't do anything. All he, all I got is one more hacks to sweep off his. Oh my god. Oh my god. Gengar is pitting in the work. My Joker is pit in the work, bro. Joker is just pinning in the work. Hold up, let me just joke my Joker. My Joker is pitting in work. Putting in work. But I guess Joker can survive that. So that 
kind of generally sucks right there. Uh, all I could do is go into stones because stone is generally the Pokemon that I would generally need to take out the Frost Slash. So that's that sucks, but it is a thing. Uh, what could I do? What could I do with you? Uh, we're gonna go ahead and go for the knockoff. It has Destiny Bond. I guess that's that's what I'm gonna have to do. I can't do anything to it. I'm just gonna have to take it out and lose my stones as well. It sucks, but I can outspeed it, so that journey just just sucks right there. Uh, let's see who else could pretty much take out who could take out his jellicent right now. The only Pokemon I could see taking out his jellicent will be Rock Lee. But I can't get the boost because I'm not, you know, whatever. So all I could do is Earth Kick. But I'm pretty sure I can outspeed his Jellicent to do damage. That's not even going to consider a 2 hit KO. I'm hoping it still stays asleep. That's that's all that matters to me right now is his Jellicent staying asleep. Because his Jellicent can't change the, the whole game. If it wakes up, that's that's the problem here, and I do not want his jealousy to wake up. Do not. No, it woke. It gone for the willow. That's that sucks. That sucks. That sucks. It gone for the willow. It's gonna do half the damage. Uh, hopefully, it does not have protect on here. That would be terribly sad if it has protect on here. Again, there's really nothing I could do against his Jellicent. I mean, I could probably get it poisoned. That's if I could land a poison off. But generally, I can't do anything to his Jellicent. Oh, uh, he goes for the recover. Yeah, that's like saying I need to somehow reach for poison. That's, that's all I could do. Again... He has recover. That sucks. That generally sucks. Uh, all I could do is go for poison jab. Let's see if I could land poison off of him. It'll, uh, please land poison. Please land poison. That's all I care about right now. Please land the poison. Poison? No. Yes! Woo! Rock League coming in through with the clutch on that poison. I'm sorry, Rock League. Uh, if, if you survive this, bro... If you survive this, this is hella lit for you, bro. You're you pinning in the work. Uh, okay, 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 okay. <clears throat> Again, the only thing that's doing damage right now will be his be my uh earthquake from Rock Lee. But that's all I could do since I'm am burnt. He is poisoned. So sooner or later that poison will eventually take it out, but I don't know for how long. All I could do is pretty much pit damage in so he could pretty much recover as much as he can. So that's the thing, Rock Lee needs to survive throughout this match to pit in the finest work right now. To beat this gym leader at his own stalling game right now. That's all I could do. Okay, Rockley is out. Rockley is out. Rockley is definitely out. I can't do anything other than that. Rockley is pretty much out. Uh, shoot, 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 shoot. So the next Pokemon I have will be Jellicent or, I mean, Moltres or Ray being Talaflame or the Togekiss. Uh, I'm just going to have to go with Togekiss. I'm just going to have to go with Moltres, the Talaflame, because that's 
all I could do. I, and I'm pretty sure I outspeeded anyway. And I'm going for the Brave Bird. I'm going for the Brave Bird. Brave Bird should do a lot of damage taking this thing out. And I can't get Willow because I am a Fire Bird. So that shouldn't even affect me. He's going for the Recover. Recover shouldn't do anything. It, it, it should get him halfway health up. But it's not going to do anything. It's, it's just generally not going to do anything. He can't really do as much damage to me. Because he's also poisoned. So poison goes down. He's going to get that drain of health. I'm going to go for another Brave Bird. Uh, he's going to probably go for a Water Spout. But again, there's really nothing he could do on that Water Spout. Water Spout is going to do half damage when his health is pretty low. So either or, even if it is super effective, it shouldn't do that much to my Talent Flame. Yep, it's not going to do that much. There's, there's really nothing him could there's really nothing he could do he's gonna have to eventually let his jellicent die to poison or die to my brave bird it's simple as that because all he could do is keep spamming recover but recover is not gonna do him any well either so i think i think my moltres has this in the back yep moltres High roll, killed it. There it is. Moltres, thank you, Moltres. Thank you, Jake, for the being the most epic freaking ghost gym leader ever. Man, whoo, that was lit. Whoo, that was freaking lit. That was awesome. Guys, if you guys enjoyed that, GG. GG. Uh, again, thank you guys for watching. Uh, I will do, like I said, I'll probably do a little bit more of getting other gym leaders and seeing what they got and whatnot. Um, definitely, uh, definitely go check, uh, the Amino called Pokemon, uh, Battle Tower. Is it Pokemon Battle Tower? Um, let me see. Do, 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 do. Yeah. It's called Pokemon Battle Tower. Uh, let me see if I can bring it up right here. No, I can't bring it up here. here. But it's, if if anything, you will notice it's going to have that on there. Basically, it's going to have the Electifier on there. It's, I'll probably have the link to it in the description down below. But definitely check it out. Definitely uh, check out uh, Spectre, the Ghost Gym Leader. It was like epic battle it was a great battle definitely check him out comment share scott put your skirt of shades on stay awesome guys bye